Hello everybody, welcome to Let's Try, my name is Retromation, this is Lilith Odyssey Simulation Program. This is a space simulation game with also top-down survival elements uh, where you are guiding a space family across the galaxy. I It just looked really interesting, it looked like something that um, could be very, very cool, so I just wanted to give it a go here. <laughs> Okay, so we got, let, let's see here, is this, uh, are we, do we have a randomly generated family here? <laughs> we have Grandfather Chico Jacobs, <laughs> woman, <laughs> woman, <laughs> Chisabel Jacobs, and husband, to who? We don't know. Could be, <laughs> could be the grandfather, could be woman. Uh, that, and that is, of course, Shump Jacobs. This is an average difficulty family. Oh, we gotta decide which, uh, which home world we want. Difficulty easy. What the hell, man? Oh my god, I love them. I kinda got, you know what, I'm kind of attached to Chisabel Jacobs <laughs> and the like. Family leader, enter a known code. Look at that. What the heck is happening there? Select so we get to pick uh we get to pick our character among them. We are we are Chisabel Jacobs. Combined wealth, who freaking knows what that means? We're I mean we're in the middle. I mean let's see here. Our job Hubs Builder, Zopford Sector Parliament. You know what? Let's just enter the simulation. Alright, loading the galaxy. Let us find out what the hell this wonderful, wonderful game actually is. Oh my god. But yeah, it's got thousands of planets. It gave me kind of like what if like No Man's Sky was completely different, but the same kind of like oh my god desires in a way. Here we are! Moogalo, I'm Chisabel. Listen, I know you're some kind of thing or user with powers that influence my simulated reality, but I'm risking everything by letting you control me. I'm desperate for help. We're on a, my home world. Good old Bumungi. Born and raised here, actually, but it's dying faster each day as the IGG intergala intragalactic government greedily slaps all its resources. Saps all its resources. There's a world... It's a very tiny text. World on the other side of the galaxy, far away from the, all this crap. My family's home. Uh, hope for a normal life. I'm shaken. I have to choose between a deadly journey or dying slowly, and I know the answer. I'm trusting you. I don't even know what you are, but you're my best chance of surviving the dangers of my galaxy. Hopefully, you can trust me, too. Let me guide you through the basics. Thanks, Chisabel. Wow, okay, that felt weird. Oh, we, we're controlling. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> okay. Press control and mouse wheel to zoom out. You can zoom out. Look at that. What on earth? But there's also, like, flight simulating, uh, like, spaceship travel, all of that stuff. Scroll with the middle mouse button or use the number keys. We have a, a Versa tool. Tab to access your inventory. Okay. Before she died from space madness, from space madness, my grandma gave her trusty survival manual. It's the most valuable possession and holds all the information I need to survive the alien worlds. Navigate space and its dangers and gather other resources to advance my own economy. Question mark to open up the survival manual or click the button near my health bar in the top left. Boop. Oh my god. Shway! Let's use the survival manual to learn how to mine rocks, chop trees, and break them into useful elements. There's something about harvesting in there. Okay. Add the verse tool to the hand slot and then press F near the tr rock or tree. And then right click on the harvested items in our backpack. Okay. Break down one. Oh my god. Breaking down items gives you resources of, uh, of carbon, metal, nanite, which I'm sure is going to be crafting materials here. Uh, all right, let's uh, let's we can always open that back up. Once you get some items, open your inventory, then right click on the items to break them down. Yeah, break them down into carbon, metal, and nanite, the building blocks of my universe. By the way, if you need to split a stack of items, drag the stack and right click on an empty slot to drop one. Off you go. My family on the left can help with gathering resources. Click on their pink arrows. To send them on resource gathering missions. Higher success rates for certain resources means that there's a lower chance that uh, they'll get hurt gathering it. Higher success rate. Okay. All right. All right. Shump. Uh, 
collect some carbon. You know what? Collect some metal. Let's go. All right. Here we go. So we got, okay, chop, okay, so we need to chop trees and mine rocks. Gotcha, gotcha. And they're, they're over there. I, we got my party, uh, my family, husband and grandfather. So I guess it's, I guess Shump is my husband. I just, it wasn't clear. I thought that, you know, is, there was a, a chance that, what, what what's our last name? How do I find out that again? I forgot. Oh, no. Jacobs? I think so. I think it's Jacobs. But, okay, we're going to get all this for now. Hello there. Wait, there's a family. Or uh, some kind of a... Chip Chipple Chaz. It's a Chipple Chaz tree. Shump was injured collecting carbon. Uh-oh. I mean, you know... Wait, Shump was injured collecting carbon? Not Chico? Looking for the metal. Uh-oh. Let's get some rocks. We'll get some rocks. Let's go. We'll, we'll zoom the heck in here. All right. All right. Oh, God. Chigo was injured collecting metal. I mean, you know. Easy come, easy go. Please. 100% chance. 100% chance. Wait, actually, you got an extra chance for the, the metal there now all of a sudden. Also, what's going on? You 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 have something for sale. I'm I'm coming. I'm on my way. Here we are. Some roses here. Is that a grave of some kind? Hello. Citizen old. Jay ho. We can sell. I'll take one of those dirts off of you for. Wait, you'll take one of those dirts for twelve credits. I mean, that seems like a good idea. Take care now. Thanks, chillin' the sick sickish. What do you have to say? Hello. Oh, these old bones. These old bones. Them two dirts. You you've got caught my eye. I believe twenty six uh is a fair price, mm. wouldn't you say? Thanks much, my friend. Tanta Buffnerts. <laughs> You're welcome, Tanta Buffnerts. Okay, let's see here. Uh, we need to gain... Okay, we one more rock. I was looking for another... Per go, wait, go inside the house? What? Spoo here. Oh, there's there's different people here. Oh, my... I cannot sell my Versatool. No. One of those sticks for 12 credits? Maybe. I'm afraid to sell my battery at the moment. Actually, can we... We can buy stuff. How many credits do we have? We have, a, we have so many credits. Nitricorn pods. Potch leaf. Warp root chips. I mean, you know what? Let's buy a bag of chips. All right. Let's go get our other rock here. And then we can, uh, we can work on the second part of the objective. Gain carbon. How do we... So... Rub on face. <laughs> rub. You can rub the dirt on your face to gain attack. <laughs> like you're. <laughs> I gotta. I want to check something real quick here. Isn't there like a um? So how do I get rid of this menu? Is that really not? <laughs> okay, okay, pal. Uh, break down one. So that gave us four carbon. How much do we need? We need. We need a lot. This gives us... We actually have more than enough metal. We just need carbon. Oh, fine. I'll break down my dang chips. Can I break whatever this is? Each town celebrates life in its own way. Each town also probably has a soul. Okay. Um, Lamps off. H for suit off. What is that? That can't possibly be a good idea. Okay. All right. We could, uh, you know what? Get more carbon. Not a super... 
Not a super high chance. Uh, this no truth of Pam anti -tor anti torture gas drugs could be yours. The nacho wars. What? Remember the nacho wars. Hmm. Hello. All right, let's get this last tray here, and an easy scorpus. Can we? Oh, not not quite enough. Could break down the quartz if we're feeling frisky, but I, I don't want to. These old bones. Oh, these old bones. All right. No truth. No truth of them. Chew. We can chew that for a speed up. Starting to understand this harvesting harvesting stuff now to make use of it. We need to find a way to make rations for our journey. I think I read something in Survivor Manual about growing food for rations. We're also going to need a ship. This is the scariest decision of the day. There's a market around here where I do my shopping and trading and make sure... After you make some rations, let's go there to buy a ship. How do I move this? Can I not? Alright, so my life savings are... <laughs> okay. First of all, you're, you're, you're mostly covering up the manual. If I hit enter again, does it go away? No. I'm glad I can hit this still. All right, rations. What do we got? Research T farming tech, P print P farm, and Florp, and Florp, equip farm to hand slot and deploy. Drag Florp into farm, take vegetables, right-click them, and select convert to rations. Okay. Uh, where's farming tech? There's warp root farming, potato farming. Let's get some potato farming. All right, learning. I've learned potato farming. Uh, what was the other thing here? P to print fuel and batteries? Wait, wait, no. Print the potato farm. Okay. Now we... Nope, I almost put it in my hand. Uh, what the heck? Okay, no, not fuel. Rations. Equip farm to hand slot. Did I miss anything? Okay, place the farm. All right, where do we want to put down our farm? Can I rotate this? Doesn't really matter. All right, I've made a potato farm. Input floor, output potatoes. <laughs> okay, how do I get floor? That that's the uh, that's print farm and floor. So I have to pr I have to print floor. What do I need to make floor? I need. Okay, 15 carbon. I'll print one floor for now. Oh, we actually have some floor. Oop. Oh, wait. So we can we can materialize it and then dematerialize it. I'll take my five floor and convert it into potatoes. Only the best. Uh, what else we got here? Drag Florp into farm, take vegetables. Right-click them and select convert into rations. Do we have anything else that can maybe already be converted into rations by chance? Potato. Convert into rations. Oh, we, we already we already got potato. Oh my god, this makes so much potatoes. The Florp to potato ratio is actually nuts. I'm gonna... Sorry, I was tabbing out to turn up the volume because there's no... I can't get to the settings menu, I don't think. Maybe, wait. F3? Okay, can we, um... Let's do that for the for video's sake. And it's actually, it's at max volume. What is this? Convert all to ration. Is that my, or wait, is that my health? That might be my health. Maybe I should have waited. Uh... I'm gonna... Print more Florp. Let's print more Florp. Florp into potatoes. We have an absolutely stellar amount of rations. But I'm gonna I'm just gonna eat these potatoes. 
Let's be safe. Uh, let's see here. It's not letting me eat them. I can use those. Okay, all right. Well, fine. Pick a. Okay, so hold on. Where is the shop? Long live the IGG. Where the heck do I buy the ship? Uh, Dickies and Bla Blast Express. Purchase new parts from traders or businesses or research with T and then print them. I mean, guns? Military weaponry. Okay. All right, let's try and find uh, where the heck... Who's selling a... Ooh, a snazzy wig? Well, I mean, that's a pretty... I mean, we kind of have to, right? Now holding snazzy wig. Clip on. I got it. <laughs> All right. Hello, do you know the, where the nearest store is? I guess we can have you guys do something that's not risky. I, I will buy a groovy shirt. Thank you. Nitrocorn Farming Bay? Sure. I don't... <laughs> you can keep the poop. Alright, this looks like maybe a place that would sell something a little bit more wild. Thrusto's mattresses? Pleasure gel. Pelt. Leaves. Artificial moon tent. Alright. Why do they all sell pleasure gel? Storage units. Easy beacon. Uh, there's... Okay, so Dickies or Blast Express. Buy ship. Okay, so how much... We've got... We got quite a bit. We could buy the V flare. Ooh. Okay, these are getting expensive. But they're also probably good now, right? We probably shouldn't spend everything right now. Ooh, I kinda like that. Ooh. What's the difference between these? Signal strength is higher. Warp speed is higher. I'll just buy it. Florp, yeah, we own a space sailor. A little dinky shore, but she's our new home. When ready, press the space bar to beam us up. Press the space bar. Uh, I'm pressing space bar. Let's see. All ships have... No, that's not... Flight. How do you beam me up? Uh, okay. So, also, what is this? This is the... This is the battery? No, it's oxygen meter, I guess. No, wait. This one looks like... This one looks like it would be oxygen. Just it would be... So, should we use the battery? Battery used? Oh, wait, now we, now we can do Do we just need to... Do we not have enough energy? Whoop! Oh my god! Ah, this is terrifying and incredible. I feel like ripping off my shirt and roaring around <laughs> into the cosmos. Is that weird? Screw it, roar. Good old IGG radio bringing us government-approved entertainment. Looks like the bottom right of our flight controls has the radio options. Feel free to lower the volume if anything gets annoying. Survival manual has a map and navigation section. Let's try to get to the ISO star system and dock at planet Majula. Use the map. I'm just listening, sorry. The Nacho Wars changed everything. To get to the ISO star system and dock at planet Majula, use the map to track to the ISO star system. Okay. Oh my god, okay. M to open up the map. Click on the business target location. Click trap. Okay. 
Oh my god! Alright, so, Planet Majula. There's Dickies. Oh, they all have, a lot of these have Dickies. Okay. Izo Star System. Where the heck is the Izo Star System? Are these star systems or are these? <laughs> this is so wild and I adore it. Nacho Wars Monument to the Fallen. Wimpu. Dick Fellow Trust Cosmic Care Hospital. Planet Majula. Are these like are these? We're on Planet Bimunu, right? Okay, hold on. Where the heck? Oh my god, this is imp This is impossible to find. Use the map to track the ISO star system. Which one? Where? I am so freaking confused in the best possible way. You know what? What if I just like started going? I'll share my butt pillow with you. What is... What is this, man? Okay. Track the ISO system. Is the whole thing the ISO... The whole thing can't be the ISO system, is it? Zopford. I wish you were a little bit more specific about the location of this. Majula. Okay, here, let's stop for a second. We might run out of fuel for all I know. Activate navigation ball. We can turn to the other radio, too. Oh. <laughs> what is that happening? <laughs> okay, so the end, we can uh, go a certain amount there. All right. Yeah, survival menu has a map and navigation section. Let's uh, let's let's look at that. Maybe there's something more specific about this here. Uh, shows all the star systems, points of interest. Top right of the corner uh, shows signal strength comes from communication antennas placed in the ship's utility slots. Any map can be targeted as. Oh yes. <laughs> can be selected as a target destination by clicking on it and pressing track. But ship tracking systems are limited to forty. Lightyear radius. Okay. Let's put the rhythm in algo rhythm. Yeah, I mean, I think the real thing is just like how that. I don't know how to find. Uh... Is there a. There's a robot rap going on in the background here. How does anybody possibly find. I mean, it's got to be close, right? There's Mool. They wouldn't make me drive that far away, right? I would not think that would make any sense. There's, there's, I, wait, oh my god, it's just right here. God. There we go. Track. Thank you. Okay, wait. How do we actually steer and fly this baby to our destination? Let's check the flight. And there's a... I was screaming at my screen. Oof. I used my eyeball to see the tiny thing better. Okay. Uh, let's check flight in the survival manual. You can also hold middle mouse and drag to look around the beautiful deep space of views. All right. Okay. Uh, figure out how to deploy the solar sails. Let's look at the uh, the flight manual first. Galaxy's vast. <laughs> it's actually why is it actually good? Why is the song actually good? Charting a strategic course that lets you sail using starlight is the best way to make use of your limited fuel reserves. Let's see navigation, researching. Let's go for okay. Let's click this. Click the square, and use your mouse to point your ship at the destination. Click the square again to disengage steering, which is best for managing inventory. 
navigation and everything while in flight. Hold W to engage the engines, S to brake. Navball uh, helps track destinations accurately, especially ones that are beyond the range of the ship's targeting systems. After targeting a destination on the map, click Ball to activate. I do have that already. Steer the ships to the crosshair on the navball lines with a red dot. Ensures you're applying the straightest path to your destination. All right. So how... There's... It's over there. So how do we... Okay, so we deploy the sails. That's the power of Spootech, baby. Sailing with Starlight. Let's use our sails while we can so we can conserve fuel. I don't want to be driving right now. But, uh, okay. With low solar energy, W accelerates, S brakes. It's a balance. Planet Majula, here we come to dock the ship. <laughs> what is happening? I, I love it. I'm so confused. So you have to slow down to get closer. Press S. Gotcha. How do we turn? That that I didn't uh, I did not get that very important part. Okay, basics. Navigate to the close stars. Maintain top sail speed. Upgrading sails via research and purchase increases. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, spoon technology can convert starlight into engine power via solar sails. So it's like a solar panel kind of a thing. This method of space travel is the most fuel efficient. Requires the ship to have fuel to burn. Planning a course that stays close to starlight helps save the most fuel, which can be used for blasting through dangerous areas, empty expanses of space. To get maximum potential out of solar sails... Okay. Solar sails, ships should fly relatively close to stars to absorb their solar energy. Larger stars have a wider solar energy radius. The blue sailing meter below the cruise speed indicates how much power the sails are holding. Hitting groove. Hitting groove? Sails and sails glowing blue means they are powering energy engines at full potential okay all right drag the square to steer the ship oh there we go there we go oh we're in there Take a coupon. Keep the dream on. All right. Now we're cruising. This is everything. All right. So we can, like, just drop it right there. Blast it. All right. Groove on. I don't know that we're really moving that fast. Cruise speed? Basically none. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty much not. We're not too close to anything. So let's uh, let's get a little bit of a uh, little bit of engine burn here going. You know what? Actually, let's blast it. I want to get there in in mock speed. So how many light years away is it? It is many. We're blasting. Zero for the headlights. Why not? Right. Oh my god, look at my little family. Alright, we got we got a ways to go yet. So we could manage our inventory during all this. We could check out. We have bulk bays. I do wish there was a way to hide the tutorial thing. But like only when Like I can't I can't. I can I hit enter, I can't do nothing. All right, but yeah, we got to be careful. As we get a little bit closer here, it's going to be a bit of a problem. But for now, let's just sit back and enjoy the smooth grooves, the tunes of the ad-free IGG FM radio Elite Gold. This is Comet Dad by Zevin Corbo and the Fabulads. <laughs> Comet... Wait. Comet Dad, let's be fine. This is so in-depth. Like, this is so neat. So we can look at the manual. Raiders. We can have raiders on board. Anti-raider equipment. Printing, text, business. Madness? Uh, something. Space madness is slow and horrifying descent into space travel induced. <laughs> that's terrifying that that's covered up. 
Susceptible to this condition, which occurs from spending too much time in the soundless voids of space. Some level of space madness is unavoidable, but the psychosis can be mitigated by adjusting character life routines. Whoa. <laughs> okay. So, how do we... We can, uh... <laughs> Why? Why? Is that's <laughs> Oh god. Sleep amount? This is sleep amount from what I remember seeing. Let's do it eight. We gotta be careful. We're almost there. <laughs> this game is absolutely bonkers. Okay. Our engine speed is not too great. Can we like can we group? Yeah, we're, we're close to the start, so we can actually just start our group here. We just gotta be careful, though. Okay. Careful, careful, careful. Like, I'm fine with grooving a little bit close, because this is we're taking the energy of the star itself. Speed towards it, but we need to be careful. Speed limit, we gotta slow it down here. Gotta slow it down here. Slow it down here. There we are. Speed up a little closer to it. Very gently move on, move on towards it. Okay. We want to dock at the planet Majula. Okay, wait. Here we come. We need to make a complete stop very close to it. So we'll have to slow down as we get closer. Press S. We want to dock at Planet Majula, not the Star Izo. Okay, where's Majula? Now that we're here, let's open up the map. Okay, well, first of all, no. First of all, stop completely. All right, now that we're here, yeah, where's Majula? It's not Mool. All right. Well, let's uh, let's just fly around a little bit. Let's see which one of these. Uh, this is actually kind of relaxing. Yeah. All right. There's got to be. Maybe it'll be one of the ones that's actually really close here. Dock next. To, wait. Why does it say dock next to planet Kohisu? Okay, well, if I see either one, I'll go for it. I'm just looking for what's the closest planet to here. That one's look that one's looking pretty close. What's that? Blast towards it. Do we get identified as we get closer? Why is this so like relaxing though? Alright, what is this? What planet? Majula! Alright. A little bit closer. Why is, the mu Why is the music good? Was this all made for this? Okay, we've done it. We just need to slow our speed a little bit. Just a, maybe a little bit more. A little bit more. Docked. Alright. Time to stretch our legs. If our backpack has a versatile farm batteries and an air tank, I think we're good to beam down. Press space bar to beam down when ready. Okay. Uh. Sure. Let's go. What could possibly go wrong? We use a good bit of fuel getting here. We'll need to make our own to keep our journey going. Let's send my family out for resources while I read the manual about fuel. You can right click to perform an attack. Okay, make fuel and... Oh, my God. <laughs> collect poop, collect flesh. All right. Out we go. Collect poop, collect flesh. What is happening? This is so... <laughs> what is that thing? What even is that thing? All right. 
Make fuel, making fuel and growing food. That's the key to survival. Grandma, I hope you're watching. What's our, where's our objective? Make fuel cells. So do we have anything that can be converted into fuel cells? Well, that's not fuel cells. Uh, can we print it? Do we print fuel cells? Quickie fuel, small fuel tank. Is that the same? Is a fuel tank the same as a fuel cell? Nope. Uh, okay. Fuel cells are concentrated energy. Wait. Uh, research T fuel drilling technology. Print P fuel drill and batteries. Okay. Fuel drilling technology. It's just... I'm assuming it's protium fuels. Allows protium fuel cell. Okay. So now can we print a protium fuel cell? Correct. All right, so now we just we just need to get carbon carbon metal. You, you die. Carbon and metal, and we're good to go. Why is this actually like inc <laughs> incredible? This is so bizarre. Can we like? Okay, I, I just started mining on accident. I didn't know how to how I could do that. But this is like this is bizarre, but so weird and deep in such a nacho war debris spoofon died over these historical sites <laughs> this is incredible in a very bizarre way technology ha must have surpassed our own okay that guy looks angry nope all right I do wish we could hide our tutorial stuff. I guess that's, like, the big thing. We need metal. Okay, we can probably make some now. Print, 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 print. Quartz ore. Sure. Ore, sure, and seven years ago. We never put on our shirt. Slick duds. Two days. So that, that uh, our shirt only lasts for two days. Good stuff. All right. Uh, how to? What was I doing? Print. More. We're at okay. Fourteen. We're missing. Okay, we're missing carbon now. Let's just break down all of that. You know what? Let's break down all of that too. There we go. We got our fuel cells. I have enough fuel for another trip. Let's beam up and hit the solar trails. Hopefully we have enough food. You know what? Let's... Can we eat... I, I mean, I'm hoping we can eat the flesh. That would be... Uh... Wait, creature killed minus points. Oh. All right. Well, I feel like we may be able to pull this off. If you say so. We'll have to track areas we want to visit, use our navigation system to avoid dangers, and beam down to worlds to resupply our rations and fuels. It's coming together. But yet, I'm also worried about the dangers we haven't seen yet. Oops. Haven't seen yet. Like space storms and raiders. Going forward, let's try and research survival tune, the technology tree, print a better versatile for harvesting resources, and print a gun for protection. Whoa! <laughs> well, let me turn down the volume for a second. Screaming in my ears, Lilith Odyssey, welcome to the Moogalo Galaxy. I'm ruining my life, everything I've heard them say before. What is that? <laughs> I'm sorry. That's it's so good though. What is What is happening here? So now we are we are completely free to do whatever we want. But I want to, uh... Oh. I think that was like... Yeah, that was like on purpose. They wanted that to be a big thing. Or maybe it's like the one that happened to come on right then just happened to be a super blasting song. All right, okay. So, yeah, now we have, like, free reign to do whatever the heck we wanted. All right. Where are we going? I think, theoretically, the place we would want to end up going... There's a black hole. 
I mean, if it's Lilithodicy, this is the only thing that is appearing when we... I mean, I'm not going to get there. All right. Where is it? Which direction? Let's just go in that general direction for now, right? And let's see what we can run into. We won't have too much more here in the video, but this is this has been very neat. And I think that that's like that right there's the loop, but there clearly seems to be like a lot of little itty bitty elements to make this deep and complex. Uh, what kind of other tech tree stuff was there? There's yeah, there's of course there's the guns, there's the survival. How do we get this? What do we need for that? Why can't we do that? Booby trapping, raid free. Oh my god. Look at all that stuff. I do want. I do like the idea of a gun. Is that Earth? I think that might be Earth. Let's go see Earth. We are running out of meals in the upper right. That's something that we wanna we wanna pay attention to. Like we're trying to get like a high score and stuff too, it looks like. There's all kinds of different ways to have a big special strong like high score odyssey it seemed like based off of the main menu puzio let's go to puzio okay to puzio blasting all right new location zip on in and let's stop. Hard stop. Beam down to Puzio. Hello there, Dust Porpino. Welcome to Puzio. Okay. I'm so glad I did the tutorial. Otherwise, oh my god, what would I what would I be doing? Alright. What was that? Game condition what condition? Uh, 98% chance of success. You know, you get carbon. Okay. All right. So we need, uh, what do we need mostly? We need rations. How do we do that? I mean, we left our, uh, we left our potato plant, uh, our potato thing down there. Oh, well. So we need carbon. We could probably break down a lot of poop for carbon, right? Absolutely. Let's turn this poop into a potato farming bay. That, because we left the other one. Uh, how do we... How do I... It wasn't showing up there. Now holding potato farming bay. Can we not build it here? Does it have, like, a requirement that we can't do here that I don't know about? Is this not the proper climate for potatoes? This might not be... Oops. No. This might not be the proper climate for potatoes, for all I'm aware. Can we put down this? No. I mean, I kind of wanted to make some... Well... Uh-oh. Uh-oh! So can we get food in any other way? There's no people on this planet, on planet Puzio. Need some more carbon... Can we print food directly, by chance? Get a spear, a bandage, a battery. We can print potatoes, but it's, yeah, it's not very cost-effective, I imagine. But let's print five potatoes regardless. Where do they, where are they going? Where did they go? Oh, we just didn't do it. Convert, convert to rations. Five more meals. All right, it's not very cost-effective. All right. Hello there. But yeah, we have all of our stuff we got to worry about now, too. What is this? It's a Velocis. Leave me alone. How are you doing, Chump and Chigo? When they die, plant killed. Wait. You Yeah, you lose points for breaking a plant killing animals. So, like, if you're going for high score, like, you get bonus points for doing it in a, in a more pacifist way. Oh, what? He's got a spear... Oh! You! What are you doing? 
I didn't want to do this. Hello. I can talk to him now. That one spear caught my eye. I bet it did, Chaz. Oh. <laughs> uh, wait. I am... Oh, I'm overheated. I have blood loss. I'm dying. You know what? I'm going to kill you, Chaz, before I go home. You're mine. All right. We have to... We, we picked a bad planet. We could not handle the temps. All right. Oh, man. I wish I could... I wish I had more... I really wish I had more time to explore this here today. Spoo killed. So, yeah, we actually lose a lot of points for killing somebody. Where's a planet? Let's go to that one. We'll go to that one, and then we'll we'll have to call it here for the day. But this is... um This is a wild experience in a very cool way. This is, like... This is so, it's so interesting. We have a broken bone. We can can't afford to fix it. I don't know how we get that stuff. I can heal that, though. Just try to spend a little bit of carbon. What resource is that? Health. What resource is that one? <laughs> Tape up. Let's see. That all helps with space madness. Of course, of course, of course. Of course, of course. Just make sure we're not gonna... Not gonna hit this bad boy. This is the stuff on our ship. We could get all kinds of other stuff. Biggest fuel tank on the market. Lower conductivity sales. So yeah, as we get closer to the stars, we should groove, though. Yeah, we're we're close enough. We we should we should be grooving. Groove, man. Come on. Come on, groove, baby. All right. Well, maybe if we like set it to low and then we also groove. No, nah, I don't care. Let's be honest. Let's I don't care right now. Let's just get let's get there. This is, this is it for the video for today. So let's go visit this uh, this wacky Saturn looking planet while listening to this music and see what's on there, and we'll murder all the all the life that we're not supposed to murder. I do wonder what would happen if we just crash landed. What the hell? Can we land? Mugek. All right. To Mugek. Am I not? Am I moving too fast? Cannot land on Mugek. Okay, fine. Wait, are these solid? No. Okay, I was gonna say they shouldn't be, but I didn't know. I didn't know video game wise if they would. All right, Thamu. This looks like we could land on there. It's under sector police surveillance. Travel identification. It's 400 to land there? I, I shouldn't do this, but let's do it. Let's go get murdered on Thamu. Temp 54 degrees Fahrenheit. I mean, is that fine? Like, I, we're overburdened. Suit required here. Oh, that's... We can't sprint. Are we still over... We're still overburdened. Oh my god. Why? Are... Help. I shouldn't be. There's nobody on this dang planet. Why did I spend $400 to land on this planet? I can't even do anything. Can we put this down here? No. Oh my god. Let's go in the water and die. Oh my god, we can swim. We can swim. Let's get murdered by some bulls and say goodbye to Lilith Odyssey. The most bizarre, wonderful, passion-filled project I think I've played in a long time. Oh my god. Murder! Oh my god, you are... This is a boss fight. We're, we should not be doing this. Absolutely should not be doing this. What? Oh, rest in peace. 
Okay, total score, military score, knowledge score, empathy score, galactic credits, fuels, rations, nanite, metal, carbons, planet, beam down, kilometers, run, wa ran, walked, light years, flow. Oh my Jesus. Rating F, difficulty bonus up, military score zero, empathy score down. So yeah, we lost empathy points. So that, yeah, that was Chisabel Jacobs. Quit, quit to the main menu. Theoretically, yeah, like, there's Chisabel Jacobs. Oh, beautiful. We could we could play as any family here. <laughs> oh my god. King Chell. King Chell. All right. Well, that is that. And that's going to do it here for today for Lilith Odyssey. You can pick this up on Steam with the link at the top of the description. Uh, this game is currently currently if you're watching this when the video comes out, 15 bucks on Steam. Uh, it looks like the kind of thing that if it's, if you watch this and it looks like your jam, this looks like it's incredibly deep. So, you know, your mileage may vary. I, this looks, it, it looks like a wonderful time. And if this, if this is something that appeals to you, you probably are all in. You are probably extraordinarily all in. You know who you are. And it might be me too. This game is super neat. So passion-filled, wild, confusing in a good way, like, just totally bizarre. I love it. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Retromation. I cover indie games every single day. If you don't want games like this, which has, like, five reviews as of uh, me playing this here today, if you don't want games like this to slip under your radar that you, you miss entirely, you, you gotta subscribe, man. I don't know what to tell you. Thank you for watching. Thank you, thank you. Like and comment, all that jazz. Subscribe for video in inbox and stuff. Thank you, thank you. See you next time. Bye-bye.